What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, I'm Pokedubs, and this weekend we just wrapped up the 2023 Peoria Regional Championships. That's the second year in a row that we've been fortunate enough to have a Pokemon Regional Championship right in our backyard. Unfortunately, I did not perform super well, but that's neither here nor there. Had a couple things pop up that kind of uh, interrupted the tournament for me, if you will, but uh, still had a great time nonetheless. And I was indeed able to shoot the epic pack battle with Real Breaking Nate, opening up some base set two. However, upon reviewing some footage shortly after recording with Real Breaking Nate, uh, I discovered that at some point on Saturday while shooting vlog stuff, I apparently switched the shoot mode of my camera to slow motion and uh, all of Saturday and all of Sunday, including the pack battle, were recorded in slow motion with no audio. So naturally, after finding something like that out, I was uh, completely devastated. It took me a while to bounce back. But I talked with Nate shortly after that, and uh, he was very reassuring, extremely positive about the situation. So I'm gonna take it. I still got the video. I've got it sped back up to what I think looks like real time. And uh, we're just gonna make it work with a little voiceover action. So it's not gonna be quite as exciting as I wanted it to be, but it's still just as awesome. I still got to open up base set two packs with one of my favorite Pokemon YouTubers of all time. It was an absolute pleasure, and thank you so much to Nate if he ends up watching this. So again, I apologize for messing up. This is probably the biggest uh, goof up that I've had in video recording so far, but that's how we learn. How else do we learn if we don't fail sometimes? But without further ado, we're going to make this thing work and uh, check out who won the epic pack battle between Real Breaking Nate and myself. Let's get it. So here we have it. Here is Real Breaking Nate. And we've got the two 151 warm-up packs that we've got. because We can't just jump right into the main show. And here are the four base set two packs. We were chatting about how legendary these arts were and how epic this is going to be to open up all of these packs. I told Nate here that he could be the one to uh, kick us off and see uh, how we could get this pack battle started. But again, it's really unfortunate uh, <laughs> that we didn't get any of the audio um, because we had some really good dialogue. Nate is a very fun guy to talk to. Um, joking around about how this was close enough to being a Psyduck because <laughs> that's the card he was looking to pull. But uh, first pack, we got the Foil Moltres. So nothing crazy, but that's okay because this is our warm-up. So, you know, we didn't have uh, high expectations, I guess. So next, I was up to open up my warm-up pack of 151. Give out the code there. We're kicking it off with the Grass Energy. Magmar. We had Horsey. Abra. Diglett. Tentacruel. I was mentioning that this is a uh, really cool art because it looks like it should just be a, a foil. He was agreeing. Got good old Snorlax, Sand Slash. And I was saying that I thought I could see <laughs> some shimmer on the edge there, but uh, it's hard to tell with these newer sets because of uh, that there. The foil rares really throw you off, make you think you got something good there. So now is the moment we've all been waiting for. So Nate here was asking me when the last time I opened up base set two was. I was mentioning that I could remember specifically at the uh, my hometown target where they were on a back end cap uh, where I would get base set two, fossil, uh, jungle as far as I remember. And I know I got some... Uh, like earlier base set from that target but uh it had been a while since i opened up base set two so this was super exciting so nate was talking about the pack arts and uh 
which ones he thought were cool in particular, but uh, I think we came to the consensus that all of the pack arts looked great, and uh, I just told him that it was his first pick to go for whichever one he wanted, and uh, he went with the Gyarados, so... Here we're showing off a little bit of the base set 2 pack art and just kind of the the good old Wizards of the Coast um, back of the pack. Nice classic pack art. Um, if you've never seen them before, they're just very clean and uh, extremely nostalgic. You got the Nintendo stamp there as well as the Wizards of the Coast. But now it is time to get into the action. We're trying to uh, open these packs as nicely as we could. Um, and we're getting getting a whiff of that 90s air coming out of that pack. It, uh, it definitely hits different. <laughs> but we're trying to keep the pack arts preserved as much as we can. Um, I wanted to kind of keep these as a keepsake to remember that uh, this was the first of hopefully many epic pack battles that I'm able to have with uh, Real Breaking Nate. And here, I couldn't quite remember, but uh, fortunately I had uh, apparently remembered right that it was a two-card trick to the front to get both of the energies. So we're going to start off with two energies, and then we go into Poliwhirl. And I'm not going to be as nearly as good of a uh, commentator as Nate was here, but uh, I'll do my best. Growlithe and Tangela. And we got the Switch. And he ever so graciously uh, acknowledged there that, you know, he could put that right it right into a deck. <laughs> it's a very playable card, so that was cool. And we got Weedle. There's a good old Sandshrew. And his rare was the Super Energy Removal. So that's the uh, caveat, I guess, if you will, of these older packs, is that sometimes that rare there can be uh, a trainer. But uh, back in the day, you know, people that played the card game, I guess kind of like today, you'd be uh, super excited to get some of these rare trainers because they're extremely playable. So now it's my turn. It is my turn to pick the next pack. Uh, but I was having a hard time because I like both Mewtwo and Raichu, uh, two of my favorite Pokemon, but I decided to go with the Mewtwo We'll see if uh, if this was a good choice. He was mentioning how the Mewtwo was like one of the one of the most popular packs because you know it, it just pops really nicely. Uh, here, I definitely kind of struggled here with the uh, opening of the base set two pack. I was starting to get a little bit nervous. Uh, reality of opening this old of a set didn't quite hit me until this moment. So. We're, uh, we're trying to get the cards out of there nicely, and we are finally able to succeed. So, here we go with the two cards to the front. We should have our two energies for the pack. Try to flip it over in an effort to not spoil anything. I was doing my best here. <laughs> we have the Water and Psychic Energy. So, I was mentioning that I do like to collect those to maybe play. Uh, so, these will be extra special. Got the good old Kadabra. Got a Weeping Bell. He was mentioning that uh, that art was very cool. Uh, energy removal. We got a nice classic trainer in there. Got the Squirtle. So we had one of these starters. That was pretty cool to uh, get going. The Diglet, which uh, I thought that was a pretty cool art when I was a kid. And we jump into a Pikachu. So it was getting pretty exciting here. I was feeling pretty good about the pack. Then we go into a Charmander. So things are really heating up. Getting super excited. And we jump into a Metapod. And I got the Foil Nine Tails. So super, super stoked about that. It's got a couple foil swirls in there. Um, I was mentioning up at the top, I could kind of see at the back of the pack that there was some foil shining through. The edges were a little bit, uh, a little imperfect, but you know, that's okay. I'm not planning to send these off and get them graded or anything. But uh, we're acknowledging that uh, so far I had taken the lead on the pack battle and I had picked the right pack. So here he is wondering, he's questioning me if I made the right choice. 
So he goes after the Raichu, which I thought was a very smart move. Since I was picking between Mewtwo and Raichu, he, uh, he wanted to show me right away uh, if I made a good choice or not. So jumping into the Raichu pack. So here we go, getting the cards out. Doing the old two card pack trick. You guys think that Nate is going to beat me with this pack, or I guess catch up, if you will. We jump into the seal, got the plus power, a good old Persian. That art was very cool, very vibrant art. The execute, we got a Nidoran, Vulpix to go with my Ninetales, <laughs> energy removal. Classic Onyx, love to see it. And he got another rare trainer in the Imposter Professor Oak. So Nate feeling really, really good <laughs> about where he's at. Um, joking around saying that his, his work here is done and he's heading out. But we've got one more pack left in the Pidgeot art. And uh, we're going to see... If I can capitalize on my lead in this epic pack battle. So unfortunately here, we had some more good and interesting dialogue going on. But can't quite remember exactly what we were saying. Um, but we're still making the most of it, guys. We're going into this last pack, a base set two, with the Psychic and Fire energy. We've got the classic Raticate. There's a Parasect. We got the Poliwhirl. This was one of my favorite ones as a kid as well. And the Sandshrew. Do you guys think we can get it? We got the Poliwag. We have a full evolution line in that pack so far. It was pretty cool. Vulpix. The Bellsprout. We got a Voltorb. And we got the Chansey Foil. So it looks like Pokedubs came out on top with the epic base set two pack battle beautiful beautiful foil you can see there for sure that there's some insane print lines on there um chancy was one of the hardest cards to ever get um graded well because there was print lines on it all the time and then nate was noting that uh we got a really good set of four packs uh the ones that i got came straight out of an opened up booster box so I uh, got very lucky to get two foils, showing the result of <laughs> the, the pack battle there. Um, I think it's safe to say that I came out on top, and uh, I thank him very, very much for coming and hanging out and uh, joining me in this pack battle. It was, a, it was a very special moment, very awesome to just hang around with Nate. And uh, I told him that if there was any of the cards he needed for the Pokemon library, that he could absolutely take them. That was the plan from the get-go. And uh, he decided to keep his uh, energy removal, the first rare trainer that he pulled. This one is going in the collection, so very, very happy to see that. Um, there's Nate with his, his prized card that will go in his epic Pokemon library. So guys, that is it. Uh, I made the best out of what we got. We still got the epic pack battle with Real Breaking Nate. So thanks again to him so much for hanging out and uh, going through that. I was happy to add at least one card to his epic Pokemon library. If you guys don't know what that is or you're not familiar with Nate's content, definitely head over to his channel. I will link it in the description. Such an awesome guy. He's a very positive influence on the overall Pokemon community. He does a lot of really fun and very realistic pack openings. And he also just covers everything Pokemon. This guy also shares an insane passion for the franchise as a whole. And he's loved it since he was a little kid like myself. So again, if you haven't seen any of his content, you're definitely missing out. Uh, head over to his channel and check him out. In short, the Pokemon library that he's trying to create, he's trying to get one of each copy 
of every English Pokemon card ever printed. In the library, he's organizing all of them by sets in which they came out. And so, we're happy to add one card from base set 2 to the collection. But again, it was very awesome to hang out with him. He stuck around for quite some time, both before and after we did the pack battle. Gave me a lot of advice on the YouTube channel, and we just had some really good conversation about his journey as an influencer and a YouTuber, and some things I can look forward to in the future, and things I can do to try to strive for the goals that I have. So that's it, guys. We're going to keep this one in its own video. Again, I apologize so much. Uh, I let you guys down. I let myself down for uh, apparently changing the shooting mode for my camera. And uh, I can guarantee it's something that will never happen again. So trying to make the best out of it with this video uh, with what we got. So luckily we got the footage and uh, you can still see that I, Pokedubs, beat Real Breaking Nate in an epic pack battle. So until the next one, guys, keep being awesome as always. And we'll see you then. Peace.